Regularly in the Western media are screaming about Israel has killed more journalists than any other place in the world and blah blah blah. That's easy to do when all the journalists that you big media companies, controlled media, are employing are actual terrorists in the first place. So now because you've turned them into journalists, they are no longer targets and they can still continue their terror work because they're protected because they're journalists. This is what the world's not willing to talk about. Two slain Al Jazeera journalists were terror operatives. The Israeli military even provided documentation indicating the two were Hamas and Islamic Jihad members in the Gaza Strip. The Israeli Defense Force presented the evidence after the airstrike on Sunday where they were and they were killed. They were operating drones putting soldiers at risk. A document the IDF posted to social media proves that Turia, the one, was a Hamas operative. The document lists him as a deputy squad commander in a battalion of the Is al Din al Qassam brigades, the terror group's military wing. I'm sorry, then you don't get to have journalistic immunity in a war zone. The other document found by the IDF indicates that Daduch was a Palestinian Islamic Jihad operative whose speciality is electronic engineering fields and who previously served as a deputy commander of a platoon in the Zaytun battalion. Before his death, he was in charge of a section of a PIJ rocket unit. Come on. And you know what? Instead of looking at the facts being presented to them by the IDF, actual facts that these were actually terrorists before they were journalists, and they're just under cover of journalists, the world's media will now say, yeah, the IDF and Israel manufactured these documents to cover their backsides. No. Just everything that comes out of Israel's mouth, the world will twist and attack and say is a lie. But the actual deceiving, lying people, the terror hounding people, the monsters, they'll believe everything they say. Everything. If they said Santa Claus arrived in the Gaza Strip, people would fly in to go have a look. That's how much they believe the terrorists over anything Israel has to say and that is the sad truth of the situation of where we're at with the world's lens on Israel all of the nations coming against them and Jerusalem biblically and prophetically becoming a trembling cup for the nations and all who come against it shall be broken God bless pray for Israel pray for the peace of Jerusalem and be careful with what you read in mainstream media. Shalom.